I'm going it's oh, ridiculous. it's terrible Back to that anal injury. But here is the monologue and uh, that we're talking this about. Mm. I do. Here's the thing, Bruce. I'm great at controlling my anger. Mm. I do it all the time. When I'm catcalled in the street, when incompetent men explain my own area of expertise to me, I do it pretty much every day because if I don't, I will get called emotional or difficult or I might just literally get murdered. So I'm an expert at controlling my anger because I do it infinitely more than you. <laughs> okay, she's very angry at the end. Very, very hard to be a woman because people compliment your looks. Oh, my God. It's so hard. But maybe Anna can speak to this because I know the lore of of uh, of Hulk, of Bruce Banner. It's like he had actual – Did he had, please correct me because I am, like, <laughs> lacking in, in nerd history here. But he had, like, actual PTSD. Like Yeah, so his father was from. abusive and he beat his mother to death. So when you get infected with gamma radiation, it releases your eye. And so your eye is, like, your deepest, darkest desires and fantasies of how – you truly see yourself within and so that's why when bruce gets infected with gamma radiation he hulks out he's you know the epitome of toxic masculinity he's so strong and you know just so full of that anger that he can't even speak except to say hulk smash and so this whole bullshit of she can control his anger it's like bitch you're his fucking cousin you knew he watched his mom get beaten to death when he was a child go fuck yourself you dumb yeah. cunt. you're explaining how to do a man's job to him like you're literally doing exactly what you're complaining about it infuriates me because jen is one of my favorite characters and to see that and then they changed it to where she originally bruce had to save her by giving her a blood transfusion because she's his cousin she was dying now, yeah you and I, touch his blood and you have the power of the hulk are you fucking retarded well, you do this, realize you can make an entire army of hulks with that logic in this episode um she actually saves bruce instead of in the original story bruce saves her and it yes. was just like the story where like she had this little cut and then like a couple of drops of bruce's blood fall mm -hmm. into her or yeah it was bruce's blood fell into her instead of like in the original story there's there needed to be a blood transfusion. Like a lot of blood was going into her system and that's how she became she Hulk. And then of course in this woke new version, Oh, well she is saving Bruce and she has been through way more trauma and has way more experience controlling her anger because she just is a, is woman. a woman with a lawyer job. Yeah. They have to ruin everything. Mean. Like they keep ruining all this Marvel stuff. And that's one that I actually like. I like that universe, but they keep ruining it. Like these newer ones. It's so disappointing. Like stop ruining it. And the thing is, is when it comes to like catcalling and stuff, I am convinced that apart from the rare instances where you actually do feel unsafe, most anybody who acts all angry about getting cat called it's it's the equivalent of like a humble brag like you don't want to brag yeah. that you got mm -hmm. cat calls you pretend is, like you're mad about it can you believe when i was walking down the street earlier this guy <gasps> called me <gasps> hot oh, oh my oh, gosh the yeah. nerve yeah, I don't get that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's rude rude and problems. like gross but it's, i don't know yeah. but man you gotta quit just cat calling just <laughs> People that don't deserve it, like, right? Like y'all are just way yeah, too willy-nilly with that shit. One woman's, this, you know, sad cat call is another woman's highlight of her day. Yeah, right. I think the only thing worse yeah. than getting cat called is not getting cat called. Exactly. Yep. I, mean, I think yeah. it's in New York. It's different though, like how you're well, saying with the exception feeling unsafe. There's a like, lot of that in Brooklyn, in particular. I get it. Yeah, like in Texas, like around here. Yeah. I get what you're saying, but like but in some environments. Yeah. If you're fun. actually worried about your safety, that's one thing. And when I lived in Los Angeles, you know, I had some instances of that, like being chased by a homeless yeah. guy and stuff. That was scary. But in, it, cat calling as a whole in general, you know, in a safe location, all that kind of stuff. Uh, most people who are going to pretend to be mad at it are just finding a way to brag about it and say that it actually happened. <laughs> Mark Wilkins would definitely cat call you, Melanie. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> I mean, how dare you? There is a, there's a right way and a wrong way to catcall. Steve Roberts is high Anna slash catcall. There is a tasteful way. Like, there is something nice about walking down a street. And again, nobody wants to feel unsafe. Right. It's nice, it's nice to hear just you're walking and you hear, hmm. You know, like, 
that is that makes your day. You don't want anyone yeah. following you. You don't want to when like you sitting next, you know what I mean, like following you off your subway stop, walking. You know what I mean, like but a little bit of like, mm, that's yep. nice. Just a little bit of like, damn. Yeah, I agree. Maybe, am I weird? Am I the? No, you're I'm, not weird. It feels nice. Like, even if someone will, like whistle at you, you don't even have to. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> I yeah, told most of it's nice. Man. I told but this those dudes that like it. follow you around too. That's right. weird. Don't yeah, follow like, or not, as good. long as you don't feel in danger. Yeah, yeah. don't do that. <laughs> they should I think we should start cat calling men. You think an, a man yeah. looks nice? You should tell him he looks good. I Older told this old man he was a silver fox, and he told me I made his entire year. Because <laughs> men don't get complimented. They literally right. don't. They literally yeah. never do. I got picked. My Uber driver, I was like telling him what a great man he was. And he was like so fucking thrilled and happy. He followed me on um, Twitter and then sent me a message. And he was like, that inspirational speech you gave me in the Uber car really inspired me. Thank you, Lila. I'm like, women, we can post a picture on any of our platforms. You've got like 100 men, 100 other women who are like, you girl, girl, you're so fucking hot. Men do not get that ever, Aww. ever. So everybody here. You talk, start telling men that they look good if you like something about them, you know, because they literally never freaking get it. That's mm. so right. You know, so Frank, you, you look really cute right now. <laughs> Frank is a no. cutie. I don't really remember what you're wearing, but you look good today. <laughs> I think it's a nice sentiment, but there is the risk of like when you compliment a guy, they might start being creepy and like endangering you type of thing. Especially I'm coming from a perspective of dealing with being in bad parts of Brooklyn and Journal Square and stuff like that. So that's why I personally don't do that. Just like out of precaution. No, that happened to me in the Uber like two months ago. I was going downtown to meet someone and I was just being nice to the Uber guy. And he was literally so pushy, like, oh, well, I'll come get you. Give me your number. Like oh, being no. really yeah. creepy, dude. And he knew where I lived. So I was like, so I was like, all right, dude. Like, no, I was like, I'm going to see my boyfriend. I was like, so even though I wasn't, I was like, but he right. still, even after I said that, he still was trying to hit on me. I'm like, dude, I just said I was going to see a dude and you still don't care and he knew where i lived like, so that i'll was wait <laughs> yeah it was really creepy so you gotta yeah, like watch imagine if, Im imagine you're like walking around in a eh, kind of sketch neighborhood in the middle of the night it's like 9 p.m and then a guy goes and goes like damn baby girl like it, it feels a little right. creepy it's a little off-putting so that's why i don't right. like that i think there is a right way to cat call but that's not one of them it's like the environment the approach yeah who's doing it yes if they're hot that's yeah. a factor let's be real <laughs> but yeah Just i think like, yeah, only you are, Brittany, if you're up to follow. standards okay okay if I mean, I do think that's fair. And I think if you look at it any any way, it's fair. Like, imagine, like, this. say this guy is just, like, a 10 out of 10, super hot. And then, like, he's only getting hit on by, like, 60-year-old fat grannies. <laughs> he's going to think that's annoying. But if a hot woman tells him that he's hot, yeah. okay. I think that's fair. It's fair for any any side that, you know. You know what gets you points is as a man, if you can, like, if you specifically can comment on an article of clothing, like, yeah, hot ass, like, I'm going to fuck you, whatever. Like, those are just, like, dime a dozen compliments. Which right. Like, mm, look at that cardigan. You know, like, that will get <laughs> someone's attention, like, a very specific, like, mm, that shirt brings out your eyes. Like, you can right. be totally just staring at their tip. But if you're, like, there's a right way. Like, if you're a little bit subtle, you can actually oh, yeah. intrigue somebody into a conversation. Yeah. Like, and for the men here, get those shoes. You know what I'm saying, you by know. the way, like I see there's some people in tracking uppity because they think I'm talking about them, but I'm not because they, they're not like ghetto and they're not in Brooklyn. They don't get it because they think, oh, I'm an upstanding hot white guy. Like, how dare she? That's not what I'm saying. So, like, <laughs> the thing is, like, guys, imagine if you're walking around and you got like harassed by like a seven foot big buff gay Woman. guy. You guys if wouldn't Le like it. If you Leslie feel Jones threatened. was following you around. <laughs> Telling you that she wants a piece of that dick, you feel a little bit nervous too. Yeah, you wouldn't yeah. like it. So it's yeah, a, it a valid probably. factor. If you had a giant woman, if you had She-Hulk following you around, <laughs> or you have a guy behind you, damn baby boy, look at that ass. Like you would yeah. not be like, oh, thank you, that was so nice. My face yeah. right. made. <laughs> 
Michael Sedino, one truth, a female can get any male she wants, but it is almost impossible for a male to get with a female he wants, unless the male is a rock star or an athlete. You ladies are great. Great episode. Aw, thanks, Michael. See, that's how you catcall. <laughs> with money. Oh. <laughs> Simp. Um, Day Dire Wolf, compliment men more. Some help a woman in distress and falsely get me too and their life is over. Yeah, that fucking sucks. The, fa the false me tooing is bad. Oh, but yeah. that doesn't mean it never happens for real, for real. It's mm -hmm. just when it, you know, the yeah. false me tooing takes away from when it really happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sydney, do you like to be catcalled? I'm going to guess no. Oh, dude, I got mm -hmm. myself in so much shit a couple years ago because there was this like, at my university, there was this Facebook page called Hotties of Melbourne University. And I got interviewed about it and it turned into like talking about catcalling and stuff. And all these people were like really mad at me because I said that in the event of being catcalled and or, you know, spoken about in that capacity and like a nice environment, I find it flattering because mm -hmm. it's basically somebody going out of their way to be like, hey, cute lady, you look cute without them being creepy or anything like right. that. You know, just like beeping you when you're walking along the street or something, just acknowledging that you look nice. I'm about it. But I do see the creepy side of things and I'm like, no, thank you. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a, a fine line. Yeah. yeah, there is. I mean, like, if you follow someone, probably not acceptable. You're shouting out the window, you're beautiful. Well, that's that's yeah. very lovely. Right. We all yep. appreciate that. Yeah. I, I get think followed all the time in grocery stores around my house. I fucking hate it. And I said this on TikTok and all these dudes were like, whoa, I, I was like, even a man wouldn't like it. It's creepy. Stop. And they're like, oh, I would like it. I'm like, dude, if some crazy meth head God. is following you around the store, you're not going to like it. Right. Woman or man. Like, what do you mean? It's weird. Like following someone around. Mm -hmm. Like I literally have a weapon and I'm like, am I going to have to use this? Like all the time. Right. Then like, again, there's probably a right way to hit on somebody in a grocery store. No, like, not following. Them that's the piece of your like, I want to test the melons, you know. Right. They'll like wait out in their car too, like all the yeah. time. They'll wait for me to come outside. That is fucking weird. Stop. It's weird. Yeah. Don't do that. It's just weird. But like, why I do don't they, know, man. That why do so they do this too? That's weird. But, Liam, why it's though? So hot. Why? Yeah. Do you like hit on me or try to get my number? They'll like wait in the car. And it's so fucking weird. It happens so many times. And I'm like, dude, stop doing that. I like tell dudes all the time, don't do that. Like, don't go out of the store and sit in your car and wait for me to come outside. Like this that is weird. I feel like you're gonna kidnap me. Like this happens what are you to doing? you often? This happens to you often? Yes. Oh, yes. No, I, Especially I, around yeah. where my mom lives in my old right. neighborhood, hmm. which is kind of like the hood. And I hate yeah. it. I refuse to go to this one convenience store anymore. I will not go there because it happens so much. I'm like, I'm just not going there anymore. So I don't like every time, dude, they'll wait the in the car. It's too attractive. so weird, dude. I hate it so much. I hate it. I, so I got to like carry weapons. Yeah. it. There's just a tough, it, it's just tough in society right now because then you've got like those people who go too extreme and, and where you're actually scared for your safety that ruin it for everybody because then at the same time, you you would like to think that we're not only bound to online dating or whatever. You'd like to think yeah. that you can go out and yeah. meet somebody in the real world. But it's to the point to where, you know, they don't want to come off creepy, but there's a there's a right way to do it. And we should be able to yeah, meet there's people a right way that it, way. It's that. just, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm like, if you're going to follow me around and especially not say anything, or like know that I'm not interested and I'm like actively walking right. fast away, but you still keep doing it. I'm not gonna talk to you, dude. I'm gonna think you're a psycho. 